Hello and welcome back to the Baron's Game Room. I'm Aaron as always, and to finish up this month of big group games, we're talking about a game that's a new idea on an old concept. So the basic idea of concept is charades, really. But you're not standing in the middle of the room making big gestures to tell people it's baseball or Tom Cruise or something like that. Instead, you're using this big board with pictures all over it, as well as some markers and a bunch of cubes. Now, before you get freaked out and thinking, how am I supposed to know what all these pictures are for? The game comes with this handy little cheat sheet that can give you some pretty good ideas on how to use each image on the board. Now each round, you're going to grab one of these cards here that has some easy, medium, and hard words, or sometimes even phrases, that you need to try and get the other players, or your team, or however you're playing to guess. Now to me, this is a real selling point in the game, because you're not just pointing at these various pictures trying to get people to guess. What's really creative about it is how you choose to use the cubes and markers the game gave you. For example, I could simply put a cube here to show that I'm talking about a man. Or, maybe I want to talk about a fraternity or something like that. So I could put a bunch of cubes all on the man tile. Or maybe I for some reason need to tell people that it's like a diverse group. So I bring in a bunch of different colors to show it. Or heck, maybe I just need to show that it's a tall man. So I start stacking up cubes on top of each other or something like that. It's really how you go about using the cubes in unique and creative ways that really makes just a bunch of pictures turn into a really cool puzzle game. Now, I know I said there weren't any big gestures, but you can make gestures just as long as they're down on the board. Again, for example, if I wanted to get you to guess elevator, I could just put a cube on the up and the down, or I might choose to instead slide it back and forth to try to show the transition, the movement from moving up and moving down, or maybe I'm trying to tell you about something pulling something out of a box. I could put something on this face, which usually means inside, and intentionally slide it out. And maybe drop it back in. Again, finding creative ways to use the cubes is really the whole fun for the clue giver. Well, last thing to talk about are these things. Now, I said there's sometimes phrases you can do. You can sort of use these to break down the words or break down different ideas of the same clue you're giving away. Maybe you're trying to get people to guess a certain actress. You can put this here to show that the main idea is a woman, but you drop this here to show that the clues you're giving are about a certain movie that she's in that you all know. And that's also where the color of the cubes come in sometimes. This game can really be as cooperative and competitive as you want, and being on the table makes it really accessible to people with pretty much any physical ability. And I feel like the pictures can really help people that are bad at coming up with clues. Obviously, y'all, this game, it's Baron approved.